Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. It's a cold winter evening here in Cleveland, Ohio, and the beer I have for you today is Brewdog's Sorry I'm Latte. Now, this is a stout with natural flavors. It is a vanilla espresso stout, which sounds delicious to me. I like espresso. I like stouts. Uh, on the can here, it says it's 7% alcohol. Um, United We Stand for Better Beer. Fiercely defiant and independent. Pressed for time. Columbus Brewed, Ohio driven by passion and united by Brewdog. Now, you're, I'm sure you're familiar with Brewdog, but they have breweries all over the country and all over the world. We've got one here in Cleveland. There's one in Columbus that actually has a hotel in it. I have to go check that out sometime. There's one in Cincinnati. I popped into the one in Cincinnati for a pint one day when I was down there. I've been to the one in Cleveland a few times. The one in Cleveland is massive. It's a really, really cool spot. It's a huge place. Nice outdoor area on the kind of on the river of the Cuyahoga. The only downside to the brewery is its location. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's not a lot around it right now. It's just old industrial area. But hopefully they'll be kind of like the anchor that, that encourages other businesses and things to, to pop up into all those old rundown buildings and empty brownfield spaces and things. But enough about the brewery. I do recommend you go checking one out if you have one in your area. This beer gets a 3.79 on untapped with 661 check-ins. Beer Advocate, it's an NA. I imagine one of the check-ins would be from the Piping Brew Nerd. I'm not sure if he uses untapped or not, but I did see a couple days ago. So this is the end of February, end of January. This probably won't come out till mid-end of February. So probably like the, 18, uh, the 28th of January, I saw he posted a review of this. And I'll link that down below so you can check out what he thinks, see if he agrees with me on it. Cool dude, he does beer reviews, and he also does uh, reviews on different pipe tobaccos. So go check him out. So I poured that pretty hard, and that's a nice, big, frothy tan head. And that's just sitting there. I mean, that's for my bare paw fingers worth of head. Like I said, it's a nice tan-looking head uh, for color. Kind of a little bit of a cola color to it, but you can't see through that. I mean, there's nothing coming through that as far as light goes. That is definitely a 40 on the SRMs. I don't know how it couldn't be. That is just a dark, dark looking beer. I mean, it does have kind of a little bit of a red hue to it maybe, but that's just a dark beer. That smells like chocolate. That just straight up smells like chocolate to me. Not really getting a whole lot of vanilla in the nose or espresso. But I am a big fan of coffee stouts. So I hope this has a good coffee flavor to it. Yeah, that's just a lot of vanilla. Or a lot of vanilla. A lot of chocolate in there. Let's see if it tastes like chocolate. Cheers, everybody. Medium to light bodied. It's right on that verge of medium to light. A little bit of chocolate. Now it doesn't have a big coffee flavor, but it has that kind of coffee grounds kind of flavor to it. If you understand, like, you get to the bottom of a pot of coffee, you got all those grounds floating around the bottom, and, and you're the last one there, and and, and get that last cup of coffee. And you can taste that kind of earthy coffee grounds at the bottom of your cup. It's got a little bit of that flavor to it. And it's not a bad thing at all. It gives it a nice earthy coffee flavor to mix in with, with the chocolate. But I'm not getting a whole lot of vanilla. I mean, there's a little bit of sweetness to it. Maybe that's the vanilla. I guess that is the vanilla because there's a little bit of sweetness to it, 
and you get some of those coffee, earthy notes, and, and some chocolate to it. Uh, it's 7%. No idea. Don't notice it at all. This is an easy drinking beer. I'd give this a big horns up. I also want to give another shout out to uh, Coleman's Military Surplus. This is one of my new glasses from Coleman's Military Surplus. Really cool to get these. I mean, like I said, a couple of my other videos, you can get four glasses for with shipping, uh, like $32 more or less. What's that about? $8 a glass for these really cool German glasses. With that being said, I think I've blabbered on enough. So embrace the adventure.